All right, hello YouTube. Um, I just want to make a quick video uh, to let you guys know of something that not too many people know about. I've been personally doing it for about eight months. I wish I would have known about it sooner. But you could take uh, just about almost any router, and uh, I suggest a high-powered router and one that has uh, the capability of adding external antennas. But you can have a router set uh, as something called the client bridge so you can program your router to get internet from somewhere else whether it's your neighbor or in this case the clubhouse if you look right behind me um, there's a clubhouse and in the clubhouse they have free internet for all the members so we're going to eliminate our high-speed internet bill by programming a fairly basic router with a custom firmware, we're going to use um, Tomato, but you could also use DDWRT. Um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, add high gain antennas. This is about, uh, about a, a 15 to 20 decibel gain antenna. I forgot. I think I bought both of these for like $25 on eBay. And this is like a 12 decibel high gain antenna. So we're just going to screw them in right here. So that's why I suggest buying a router that has external antennas that you can add and upgrade. And now um, I've already programmed uh, a firmware. It's not the standard firmware that comes with most routers, but you can go online and download for free a new firmware. Uh, either DDWRT does it fairly simply or also Tomato. In this case I'm using Tomato, but this is about a $50 router shipped it's an ASUS, which is a really good name brand. You can also use Buffalo, uh, many others. Uh, this is an RT-12N. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Now that we have these high gain antennas, we're going to place this close to an exterior window that's facing the guest house. And what we're going to do is we're going to program the SSID or name of that router. And we're going to say go to that router, the guest house router, and grab internet from their Wi-Fi. So it's going to grab internet and then it's going to distribute it. I'm using an OB for telephone, so uh, OB and Google Voice. So pretty much I'm going to plug this in here and what it's going to do is it's going to go grab internet from the guest house, pull it down and distribute it through this Cat5 so we have home phone. Um, also if we had older computers that didn't have wi uh, wireless cards, we could plug them in and they'd get internet. And the next thing that I'm going to do personally, not everyone uh, probably will need to do it, but also I want to redistribute that internet under my own SSID or router name. So I'm going to redistribute this under ASUS. So if you come to my house uh, and you have like a laptop or an iPhone or some kind of smartphone, you'll see ASUS Wi-Fi. And what it's doing is it's grabbing Wi-Fi from uh, the guest house, pulling it down as the source of the internet, redistributing it both under ASUS Wi-Fi, which is the name of this device, and uh, it's going to distribute it to all the hardwire, uh, hardwired devices. So whether you're using an OB for phone service or whether you have older computers. So that's just a basic overview. I'll get into the details on how to uh, program uh, your router with custom firmware and also how to set up what's called a client or a client bridge and I just wanted to let you guys know that it's possible and um, I've personally been using it for about eight months haven't paid an internet bill I've just been uh, using my neighbors after I got his permission and his password and um, I'm gonna do that for my aunt's um, vacation house so I'll walk you through it hope this helps bye Okay, so here's our final setup. As you can see, that's the guest house. This is the closest window to the guest house. And here we have our router programmed with a custom firmware, Tomato, but you could also use w DDWRT. Um, so here we have two power supplies, one power supply going to the router. The router then, through its high power antennas, going grabbing internet from the clubhouse then feeding that internet to the OB this is how we get our telephone um, and then it's also redistributing it under our own SSID so um, ASUSnet
So that's our little setup. And now I will go ahead and close the window. And uh, so we just have these two cords. Just have those two cords and uh, that's what it looks like. Could hardly notice it. Um, not bad. I'm sure if we spend some more time we could uh, figure out how to make it look better. But So this is, um, this is the power that's powering the two devices and this is the phone pl plug that's going into the phone jack behind the bed and when that's plugged in uh, everything should have telephone like normal. Alright, I'll let you know how it works.